So I'm in my titrator home screen and from here I have access to pretty much all the titrator functions I need. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and look at my setup menu. From here I can change all of my instrument settings, go into the diagnostics and do a factory reset. I can also go into the display and adjust the brightness in case I feel that my display isn't bright enough. I can change my instrument name, set date and time, and also languages. If I want to know my titrator serial number and model number, I can look right here on the files and info screen. And lastly, I have the notification section, which allows me to set an audible alarm when my titration cycle completes, if I reach my maximum titrant volume without hitting an endpoint, and also if my data log is full. I also have the option to set calibration alarms and maintenance alarms. The next thing I can go into is my data log. From here I can see my titration, titrant standardization, calibration, and direct measurements. So I'm going to go into my titration and take a look at my data. It'll save up to the last 100 data sets. The next screen I'm going to go into is my method screen. So from here I can see that I already have two methods saved and I can create a new one. I can do up to 10. I can also import methods from a USB flash drive if I've already created them or export them to a USB flash drive in case I want to load them onto another titrator. My third option is I can print out my methods. The next screen is the burette screen. So from here I can set my burette size. I can enter the installation date, which I can also use to set a maintenance reminder for myself to replace the burette. I can rinse the burette or I can dispense a certain volume. I can use continuous in case I see an air bubble in my lines, or I can also select a preset value and dispense five milliliters five times to make sure that my dispense accuracy looks good. The last screen is the direct measure screen. So if I want to take a quick pH reading of my sample before I do my titration, I can do so in this screen. I can also perform my electric calibration, save my direct measurement in case it's important for my titration results, or I can start and stop the stirring probe. And in case my stirring probe is not doing the speed I want it to, I can press and hold this button and adjust the speed right from the screen. In my home screen, I can see my last titration data, my calibration data, and my standardization data. So I know that all of this information is what will be used if I press the repeat titration button. I can also go to the use a save method to access a different method in case I want to measure a similar but different sample. Or I can press the start a new titration button and start a whole new titration using the titration setup wizard. So from here it walks me through my electrode settings, my titrant settings, and my titration settings, and then it will let me save this as a method so I can use it again. I can also at any time press this info button if I'm confused or need some assistance, and the titrator will tell me about the screen and give me helpful tips. This info button is available in most screens and provides valuable information as you learn your titrator.